key. Here we are. I don't know. Is everyone in there already? What's going on? Rama still eight two. I don't know. Doesn't look like there's anyone in these cars. Nope. We got one person in the car. We got one person. All right. So here we are. We are at a glorious rummage sale once again. Rummage. You can't see a sign. But uh, this sale usually it's like literally that's how big it is. From there to there. It may be like two or three tables wide. It's not that big. Um, I usually only find like one or two items. So we'll see if we find anything cool here today. I know there's a lot going on. It's a good day for flea market. I'm not at the flea market. Uh, what else is going on? We have an estate sale about three miles down the road. And we have a community yard sale about five miles down the road, which is all new houses. So I'm not uh, too upset over that because uh, I usually never find anything there. But we're going to try to hit as many things as we possibly do today in the time allowed. And uh, yeah, so let's get out there. Let's see if uh, see if we find anything in this uh, rummage sale. So I didn't find one thing. That rummage shell, not one thing. It's uh, all the clothes is all mixed up. I'm going to try to stop at this estate sale up here if it's even going on. I think I see a lot of cars pulled off this side of the road. So we might have something, might not. We'll see how well this goes. It's after the gas station, I think. There's, uh, there's already a lot of cars here, so it must be the real deal. Okay. 
I just didn't want to go rummaging through it. Okay, that's okay. I'm sorry. Thanks for asking. No, no. Here we are, Forks Village Community Yard Sale. I can see there's a lot of cars out here, so all the good stuff's probably gone. All the good stuff is probably gone. Garage sale on garage sales. Welcome back to garage sale season where 90% of it's going to be baby clothes. Oh, we ain't stopping over there because there's nothing there. I just looked. All baby clothes. Let's see if there's anything else. Maybe we can go this way. Funny story is, last year I came by here because there was a community sale towards the end. <clears throat> and I picked up a Ralph Lauren polo teddy bear like uh, comforter set. I think I got like a hundred bucks for it. And she only wanted it a quarter. And I just gave her a dollar because I was like, there's a dollar. I'm not taking this for a quarter. Uh, I didn't know what it was really, and it was stained, but. You, you win some, you lose some. I would have gave her more money, but I didn't even know what I had. So I'm going to park here and see what we can find. So just picked up a Princeton t-shirt for a dollar. Nothing great about it. Just kind of filler t-shirt. Well, just kind of filler t-shirt. And of course, I locked myself out. What's going on? Just picked up one shirt. So yeah, that was that. Uh... Couldn't find much else around here. We're going to check back and see what I picked up. We're going to check back and see what I picked up at the state, the state sale. Um, picked up some great items. Definitely some great items there. Apparently they already had a yard sale, but uh, you know there's still good things to be had. Uh, these yard sale, community yard sales are pretty tough. But we'll see what else, and uh, we'll be onward. Okay, so here we are. Uh, recap of what we picked up today. Uh, the yard sale I went to. Yard sale. Yeah, yard sales I went to. There's a community yard sale wasn't that great a lot of new houses usually for me means a lot of new stuff a lot of baby stuff um what else do we find oh the rummage sale <laughs> rummage sale wasn't that great either um didn't find one thing that's the first time i ever went to a rummage sale and just didn't find one thing i was third person in line just nothing was there uh, a lot of the clothes were mixed in men's clothes or women's clothes nca sweatshirts there were a couple t-shirts but they were nothing you know of importance to me and uh, yeah, that estate sale was definitely a, a good one. I, I would say that if you went, but we then went to an estate sale and that was a good one. Uh, unfortunately, they had a yard sale before. So I feel like uh, some of the good stuff probably kind of already went away, uh, but there were still a lot of great things to be had. This is the one piece that I picked up at that yard sale. It's only a Princeton t-shirt, but I picked up this nice vintage majestic it's all right, dirty, which now I gotta clean it, but it is what it is. Majestic New York Yankees jacket. Uh, I had a couple of these very similar, so this is just dirt now, but very similar design with this Majestic logo right there on the pocket. I think I got 25 bucks for that. So what I did was I bundled that with this and that for 10 bucks. So I picked up a bunch of golf balls. She wanted five bucks for the jacket, uh, which was a fair price. At a flea market, at a thrift store, I definitely would have picked up for five bucks. The hats were two dollars each, or three for five. And I said, "Would you throw in a bucket of golf balls?" Uh, and she said, "That's fine." So we have a Detroit Lions hat. This one's probably the best one out of all three. I'll probably get fifteen for this, but I have to wait until football season. We have a vintage 1996 Atlanta Olympics hat. And this Phillies hat, which is what it is. We got the golf balls, of course. Uh, we picked up one hatchet. The tools there, she originally wanted five bucks a piece. Someone else came along and she was like, you know, it's selling for a dollar a piece. They all have to go. So I picked up four tools. I gave her five bucks because I felt 
you know some of these things are worth a little bit more than a dollar this this piece right here is worth more than a buck and obviously these two pieces I, i've sold before uh, there was some chipping but we have a hatchet here i don't know what the name one it might be a winchester i don't know that might be a winchester i didn't know winchester made hatchets but uh we have that and we have two draw knives so draw knives for some reason i sell them very quickly on ebay the last one i picked up i sold for 25 it was a fulton i have to look a little bit deeper and try to see if there's any names on these these draw knives do bring a good amount of money. We have this piece for any of you people who might not know what this is. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is a slate ripper. Slate rippers are fairly common here. They're kind of hard to pick up because they aren't that, uh, they aren't that, there aren't that many left in the wild. A lot of people used to have slate houses or slate roof houses. So these were used quite often. Uh, but I believe this is a slate ripper. A lot of people in the south might not see that often. A lot of people in the west might not see it that often. Um, Pennsylvania, especially northeast Pennsylvania, has a lot of slate. So you see that a lot. What else do we pick up? Those slate rippers, they vary online. I've seen some sell for 80 bucks, 100 bucks. Some usually sell for 20, 25. I'm not up to date, up to date with them. I haven't picked up a slate ripper ever. I haven't, pit, I haven't picked up a slate ripper ever. And that's just because they usually go for 10, 15 bucks at auctions. In terms of Pyrex and glassware, we have a whole set here. The old set. And this is what they call Spring Blossom or Crazy Daisy. It's got a lot of, uh, looks like they used it like as an, ash, an ashtray. So you got a whole set here. Uh, this set probably costs online about 45 50 bucks plus shipping. It's not an extremely desirable set. It's not extremely vintage. There is a lot of it out, out there. Uh, but a whole set, I paid 5 bucks for this whole set. So it was a good buy. This goes towards that collection of Pyrex. And not often do you ever find a complete set in the wild, let alone under 25 30 bucks. So good pick up there. We have a large yellow bowl. I paid $3 for this and this piece, which is green squares, maybe. Green square Pyrex. It does have a lot of nicks and stuff. It's a promotional piece. Kind of hard to find. A lot of these promotional pieces are hard to find. These big Cinderella-style bowls are usually the best uh, in terms of people wanting them for their, their own use because they are big and you can use them for a lot of different purposes. A pour like that use it like that to pour something i'm not sure uh so yeah what did i pay I paid seven bucks or eight bucks for all the pyrex which is a great buy and i paid i don't know like i paid 15 dollars for the tools golf balls jacket and hats uh it was an overall a great day it's always great to go out there and go to estate sales i love them especially when they are run by you know just family members or someone else and uh it's not really run by a company where they're going to just try you try to gouge you on prices um, but yeah that was it uh, that's all I picked up I know some of the boxes and crates and stuff that they had they wanted 25 30 bucks some barrels they wanted 30 or 35 so it was a little bit hard to pick up something like that but I picked up some tools some glassware some clothing a, a great diversity a great diverse uh, amount of items if you guys enjoyed this kind of video if you guys enjoy thrifting flea marketing treasure picking stuff like that Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.